Hi, this is Jeremy from CyberPower PC. If you're having trouble balancing data between separate hard drives, or if you want to boost in performance for games or frequently used applications, then installing StoreMI is a great option for those who use an X399, 400, or 500 series motherboard. So with installing the utility of StoreMI, you will get the capacity of a hard drive with the speeds of an SSD. So let's show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to the AMD StoreMI landing page to download the software. Note that on the landing page, there's a disclaimer that this is only for the X399, 400, or 500 series chipset motherboard. Once it has been downloaded, opening the installer will present you with three options to choose from. The first option is creating a bootable store MI. This will be used in order to create store MI on your CyberPower PC. This is the setup that our AMD units ship with and will most likely be the option that you'll be looking for if you are trying to revert back to the configuration that you received with your system. Keep in mind that when enabling store MI on your system, it will be reformatting your hard drive. That means that all the data on the hard drive is going to be erased. So you absolutely have to have an external hard drive, copy all your data, whatever it is, maybe it's documents, photos, videos, copy it over to the external hard drive and save that. So that way you can continue the process of enabling store MI and reformatting that main hard drive. So now that we've copied all of our important data to a separate hard drive, now it's going to give you a couple of options. It's going to ask you which drive is your SSD or your hard drive. And the way it, it configures that is by saying which one is fast and slow. So obviously the big bulky hard drive, the one that has more uh, terabytes and more storage will most likely be the slow one, the hard drive. Um, and the one that's a little bit smaller, maybe in the 256 gig range to 500 gig range, because that's what our system ship out with, um, will be the SSD. Now also keep in mind that we have already enabled and set up your SSD to be your bootable drive. So that option for the fast option may already be grayed out and chosen. So that will be your SSD. So then the next option will be your hard drive and you're gonna check that as slow. So once the installer has been completed, you're gonna wanna restart your computer. Now, there's two things that could happen. One, it'll just directly take you to your Windows homepage and you're all set. Or sometimes the boot drive needs to be changed inside the BIOS. So what you're going to want to do is as soon as you restart your computer, you're going to want to hit delete and F2. Hit it a couple of times until you get into the BIOS menu. Now, it all, always depends on uh, what motherboard you have. So the BIOS will look different. So, of course, we have some footage here to showcase what we're actually doing inside the BIOS. Once we got to our boot drive, we chose our UEFI OS to be our number one priority for booting. Then of course, we save changes, reset, and it took us directly to our page. But like I said, it depends on the motherboard, so it could be something different. Maybe the boot option is in a different menu, but there is search options inside your BIOS, so you can always check that out.